Do you think that one day a powerful meteorite will hit our Earth? It is possible that everything will end with a single meteorite, and this is not a remote possibility. Mankind will have to be prepared for this and eventually find new planets to colonize. In addition, we always have the same question. As humanity continues to expand its reach into the vast expanse of the universe, gathering evidence of countless worlds, a timeless inquiry lingers in our thoughts. Does extraterrestrial life exist? The encouraging update is that our knowledge surpasses that of any preceding era. Within our galaxy, exoplanets abound, planets orbiting distant stars. Among them, a significant proportion comprises compact, rocky realms, resembling our own planet in size and possibly in composition. The essential components necessary for the emergence of life as we know it, water, life-sustaining elements, and accessible energy sources, seem to be pervasive in nearly every corner we have explored so far. The universe may be a lonelier place than previously thought. Of the estimated 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe, only one in 10 can support complex life like that on Earth, a pair of astrophysicists argues. Everywhere else, stellar explosions known as gamma ray bursts would regularly wipe out any life forms more elaborate than microbes. The detonations also kept the universe lifeless for billions of years after the Big Bang, the researchers say. Some astrophysicists have suggested a gamma ray burst may have caused the Ordovician extinction, a global cataclysm about 450 million years ago that wiped out 80% of Earth's species. Here are the 10 planets with the possibility of life. Before starting the video, I would like to kindly remind to you this one. As every space lover knows that one light year is roughly equal to 9.46 trillion kilometers, 5.88 trillion miles. 10. Kepler, 186f. This one is an exoplanet located approximately 500 light years away from Earth. It was the first planet with a radius similar to Earth's to be discovered in the habitable zone of another star. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope detected it using the transit method, along with four additional planets orbiting much closer to the star. Previous research suggests that a planet the size of Kepler 186f is likely to be rocky. Kepler 186f orbits its star every 130 days and receives one-third of the energy that the Earth receives from the Sun, settling near the outer edge of the habitable zone. It is about 1.1 times the size of Earth and orbits within the habitable zone of its star, making it a potential candidate for the presence of liquid water and potentially life. 9. Kepler, 22. The planet lies 600 light-years away. It was the first Kepler planet found in the habitable zone of its parent star, but the world is considerably larger than Earth, about 2.4 times our planet's size. It's unclear if this super-Earth planet is rocky, liquid, or gaseous. Kepler-22b's orbit of 290 days is pretty similar to Earth's 365 space.com previously reported. The exoplanet orbits a G-class star like our Sun, but this star is smaller and colder than Earth's. A simple climate model in which the planet's inventory of volatiles is restricted to nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water, and clouds are not accounted for suggests that the planet's surface temperature would be above 273 K if at least 0.5 to 5 bars of CO2 is present in its atmosphere, for assumed N2 partial pressures ranging from 10 bars to 0, respectively. 8. Tea Garden Star B. It is an exoplanet found orbiting within the habitable zone of Teagarden Star, an M-type red dwarf 12.5 light-years away from the solar system. It has the highest Earth similarity index of any exoplanet found to date. Teagarden Star B is the innermost known planet orbiting Teagarden Star, with an orbital period of just 4.91 days. Along with Teagarden Star C, it is among the closest known potentially habitable exoplanets. Teagarden Star B orbits within the habitable zone of its host star, meaning it is possible that its atmospheric composition could allow for stable liquid water on its surface. 7. Tui 700d It is a near-Earth-sized exoplanet, likely rocky, orbiting within the habitable zone of the red dwarf, Tui 700, the outermost planet within the system. It is located roughly 101.4 light-years away from Earth in the constellation of Dorado. The exoplanet is the first Earth-sized exoplanet in the habitable zone discovered by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite. If it has an Earth-like atmosphere, its average temperature would be about 268.8 K, 4.3 degrees Celsius. There is a small possibility of a runaway greenhouse effect. 6. 
Wolf 1061c. It is an exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone of the red dwarf star, Wolf 1061 in the constellation Ophiuchus, about 14 light years from Earth, making it the fifth closest known, potentially habitable, and confirmed exoplanet to Earth, after Proxima Centauri b, Ross 128b, Leuton b, and Tau Ceti e, yielding interest from astronomers. It is the second planet in order from its host star in a triple planetary system, and has an orbital period of 17.9 days. Wolf 1061c is classified as a super-Earth exoplanet, as its estimated radius is greater than 1.5 Earth. Due to its proximity to the star, the planet is likely to be tidally locked, with one side constantly facing the star and the other side permanently in darkness. Although the planet's climate may experience significant temperature fluctuations due to this configuration, the terminator line, which marks the boundary between the illuminated and dark sides, could provide favorable conditions for habitation. In this zone, there is a possibility of liquid water existing, making it potentially habitable. 5. Gliese 667 cc The planet lies just 24 light-years from Earth, and is at least 4.5 times as massive as Earth, according to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Gliese 667 cc completes one orbit around its host star in a mere 28 days, but that star is a red dwarf considerably cooler than the Sun, so the exoplanet is thought to lie in the habitable zone. However, Gliese 667 cc, which was discovered with the European Southern Observatory's 3.6-meter telescope in Chile, may orbit close enough in to be baked by flares from the red dwarf. 4. Kepler 452 b. This world, whose discovery was announced in 2015, is the first near-Earth-sized planet that orbits around a star the size of the Sun, according to NASA exoplanets. Kepler 452b is 60% larger than Earth, and its parent star, Kepler 452, is 10% larger than the Sun, very similar to our Sun, and the exoplanet orbits in the habitable zone. At 1.6 times the size of Earth, Kepler 452b has a better than even chance of being rocky, its discoverers have said. Kepler 452b resides 1,400 light years from Earth. It takes Kepler 452b just 20 days longer to orbit its star than Earth does. 3. Proxima Centauri Orbiting the closest star to our solar system, Proxima Centauri b is an exoplanet located about 4.2 light-years away. The exoplanet, which was discovered in 2016, has a mass that is 1.3 times that of Earth's. It orbits its star far more closely than Mercury orbits our Sun, taking only 11 days to complete a single orbit, a year on Proxima b. The new planet circles Proxima Centauri, the smallest member of a triple star system known to science fiction fans everywhere as Alpha Centauri. Just over four light years away, Proxima is the closest star to Earth, besides our own Sun. Although the exoplanet can be found in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri, it is exposed to extreme ultraviolet radiation. 2. TRAPPIST-1 System This star system, located about 40 light years away, is known to have seven Earth-sized exoplanets. Although it has 94 times the mass of Jupiter, it has a slightly larger radius than the planet Jupiter. The planet most similar to our Earth is the planet 1E NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to measure the temperature of the rocky exoplanet, TRAPPIST-1b. The result indicates that the planet's day side has a temperature of about 500 kelvins, roughly 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and suggests that it has no significant atmosphere. TRAPPIST-1e has 93% of Earth's surface gravity, and the calculated equilibrium temperature of the planet is 2.461 K. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope was used to find that TRAPPIST-1 b and c were unlikely to have hydrogen-dominated atmospheres like those we see in gas giants. This strengthens the case that these planets could be rocky and possibly hold on to water. This result was published in July 2016. It is located in the habitable zone around its star. It is thought to have an atmosphere and gases such as nitrogen, hydrogen and carbon dioxide are present in this atmosphere. It is thought that there will exist seas, rivers, etc. on its surface. 1. Hycean. A Hycean planets, a hypothetical type of planet, described as a hot, water-covered planet with a hydrogen atmosphere. The Cambridge researchers identified a new class of exoplanet, called Hycean planets, that, much like Earth, are covered in oceans and have atmospheres rich with hydrogen, an element that is essential for life. Many of the planets are bigger and hotter than Earth. 
up to 2.6 times larger than our planet and reaching atmospheric temperatures up to nearly 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit. Having plentiful liquid water is of course a good start. These planets, unlike most mini Neptunes, may have solid surfaces, like Earth. Many of the known high sea candidates are larger and hotter than Earth, but still would be able to host large oceans. The conditions might be similar to some of the more extreme aquatic environments on our planet, but could theoretically still support at least microbial life. Although the presence of water may help them be habitable planets, their habitability may be limited by a possible runaway greenhouse effect.